How's everybody doing? I finally jumped in the wagon and went and got the wireless go from road. And this little kid, I've been like everybody else, you know, you watch tons of videos. I watch tons of videos. I don't know about you guys, but I watch tons of videos. And I wait usually like six months before all everybody uses them, everybody does reviews, and whether this is worth it or not. And for my needs, in my opinion, this is one of the best compact um, systems that you can have when it comes to wireless microphones. It's not as, my opinion, is not as good as the Sennheiser, but. Who wants to spend 500 650 euros or 700 dollars but i just wanted to do an open box as you guys know i do quick open boxes just to see what's inside i've been so busy work etc etc just like you guys and i mean i wouldn't be wanting to do an open box and uh it's winter and i have not gone out Actually, I'm lying. I went out into the black forest last week. Basically, in the back of it, it tells you what you're getting, which is the receiver, your transmitter, and you get two your little furry windshield uh, protectors or windshield blockers. Um, some people hate to call them the dead cat, but you know, they call them the dead cat. And you get two USB C cables and the uh, uh, AC cable. And a little pouch which is everybody says that it is is great because uh it's, it's such a uh, tiny uh pouch i watch a guy actually open this box he did agree with me too but he opened it from the back and you have a little uh cut here that tells you you know tear here <laughs> He opened it from the back. But he was talking, he was concerned on what he was talking. He just uh, obviously uh, opened it from the wrong way. Don't matter. Wireless Low Quick Start Guide, which it tells you what your battery indicator is, what your wireless indicator is. Where your microphone in the center is, and whether you can where uh, you can charge the connection for both of them. It tells you here where the power is at the bottom to the connections where you can put it on, on your lapel, and you. Uh... One thing that I noticed in these things, wow. Um, they are pretty small. The little plastic things that they come with. And this one's this one's scratched, but oh, is it? These things are in here. See? There you go. You give you two cables. Type C for charging the road. Then so you can press this way. You get one out. And you get the other one. And it's out. Cable. Keep this away from the dogs and the kids. I put this on my camera bag for humidity. Road warranty. According to Road, I understand that they this they give five years lifespan on this system, and I haven't done research regarding. How much they charge you to replace the batteries? But Road claims that if you send this back after five years, they will replace the battery for you. So that's that. 
um, the furry Lido windscreen protectors. I heard these is a, they give you two, but these things come off. And I've been wondering about that. So let's try them in here. How is it these things go? Um, I suppose that they give you two for that reason. These things go actually, they clip into those two little holes from the center of the microphone. I can see that it has got little clippy things. Well, they're clipping, man. They're clipping. And that's about it. And the pouch, of course. That media mud for the GoPro 8 is uh, what a shame. We need that three millimeter jack connection so we can connect such microphones as the uh, the, the Rhodes uh, collection type. You know, here's my Rode Wireless Go, and then you got the the Rode um, Mini microphone that a lot of people claim. I don't have that one, but I sure do have this uh, Rode Wireless Go. We just just wanted to show you guys how to, to hook it up. And in this case, I want to uh, do a sample of what the sound is like. In this case, what you guys hear right now is the sound of the iPhone SX Max. It's the Rode Wireless Go. And you guys can see it right here. And this is what everybody claims, you know, that it's a great, it's a great little semi-professional, you know, blogger, video maker, audio system. Now you guys can see that the thing is right there. When you're wearing black, you know, you, the thing, you can barely see it. Some people hate that. Some people rather to put it in this position, backwards or inside out. And now you can see that it's inside out. But this is what it does all the time. It's, it's heavy when it comes to the t-shirt. So unless you have like a lapel or coat or jacket, then you can see that the thing here, you know, it's not bad at all. Now, if you have a, a mic, a lab mic, then by all means. A lot of people have heard that they're getting the, the rope lap, which is 90 bucks. Uh, I, already, I already have uh, videos uploaded. I have the Edo Teach um, with the wind sucks. Um, I have to still try. I, I there's I have a, we have Hurricane Sabine going through Germany right now, and it's all windy and raining. And I want to go outside and make a video regarding the, the sound and the uh, the audio quality with the little moth that come in here. This is the latest version, which is the latest version. They upgrade the little dead cat, and the cat fits way better, and it doesn't come off like the previous one. And the previous one is everyone was complaining that the thing just falls and that's what they were giving you too, blah, blah, blah. You know, I don't know. But I got the latest one and you uh, clip that thing and the little dead cat stays there. It's not going anywhere. So they're still giving you two, so that's good. Um, again, this is the um, Roll Wireless Go and now I'm gonna disconnect it. Now it's disconnected. That is the audio from the iPhone SX Max only. So this is the quality you can expect. Let's see what it sounds like hooking up the EdoTeach lap mic. Okay, here's my EdoTeach lap mic, uh, which the mic actually comes this big. <clears throat> it's made by Editage. They give you the uh, mini mic, and then you got the little lap lapel with a little clip to here. This is your receiver, this is your transmitter, and the transmitter has a three millimeter jack on top of the microphone. The battery charge and the Wi-Fi blue lights. Now what you guys hear is the lapel mic. 
we'll see how that comes out. In this case, you can hide under the shirt, put it on the side of the pants, put it in your pocket. You forget about it, man. You can put this hidden under your shirt, excuse me. Just like this. It's a better way to, to do this, but just want to give an example. And now it's on the outside, right there. This is my lapel, Mike Edutich, 001, I believe it is. Uh, it's, it's, it's an old version. It's one of those older versions, I believe, that already came out. Not very happy. I contacted Edutich, and Edutich contacted me, like, are you doing this wrong? Are you doing this wrong? And, man, they ain't doing nothing about it. So, when it comes to the wind, you have this hissing noise that is not the wind. It's another hissing noise that the micro microphone uh, picks up. So, I don't know how is this sounding. This is just a test. Uh, with Again, with the iPhone SS Max and my Rode Wireless Go and the lapel mic in the titch. This is what it sounds like. Uh, again, that's the in the titch I got. We're going to disconnect the lapel. So we'll give an example. Disconnected. This is what it sounds like if you were to have an do terms on top of an interview, just by the mouth. This is what it sounds like once you put on a lapel and it's in the outside. Excuse me. This is what it sounds like once it is upside down in the inside. And this is what it sounds with the iPhone SX Max, no wireless go, no lapel, of course. That is the sound just of my phone. Which ones did you guys like better? 